Hello and welcome in Vikings fans. It's been pretty quiet on the northern front as far as free agency is concerned for today. It is the beginning of week two of free agency, but not a lot of action as far as Minnesota goes. But they did have some uh, um, an event today, I guess we could call it that, a press conference to introduce Patrick Peterson, one of the newest members of the Minnesota Vikings this year. He is one of the prizes of our free agent signing class so far. And they had a little press conference uh, press conference to both introduce him and to make him available for the media. And I thought that there were some interesting tidbits that came out of this uh, little event. So I figured I'd share my thoughts with you on that and we could have a discussion because there's some newsworthy things in here, I think. So, of course, Patrick Peterson is one of those veterans uh, who is well-established and is uh, one of... Uh, I, I don't know if he's one of the best corners uh, to play the game, but he's definitely up there in the upper echelon of... Uh, past defenders, if you will. So he had this, uh, he explained to the media, he had this perception that he would come into the league and only play for one team for his entire career. And he said he was kind of surprised when that didn't happen, but he understands, uh, you know, the business aspect of how things work in this league. So, uh, but he's excited to be with Minnesota. And there's a couple of reasons uh, on how this, um, you know, union came to be. Uh, one of the things that he talked about a lot was uh, Mike Zimmer, obviously. That was one of the big selling points. Uh, he said that Zim stood out to him, uh, specifically referenced how um, Zimmer has been able to uh, help uh, corners slash other players elongate their careers, which I think was a direct reference to Terrence Newman, who, uh, who I believe played uh, until he was like 40 or 41 as a defensive back, which is pretty amazing considering how quickly the, the you know those careers end uh, in the secondary these days. <clears throat> uh, he also, uh, you know, praised uh, Zimmer and the Vikings' well-preparedness. Uh, he says they are very well-prepared and have a relentless mindset, which is, you know, I'll take that. Uh, one of the things that he did say was that uh, and he says that the roster is loaded, quote-unquote. And that's one thing that I disagreed with, if you saw my post on Twitter this morning, which if you don't follow me at Skull Hilo, please do that. Um, <laughs> but he said the roster is loaded, and I thought to myself, well... Maybe in some spots, but we have some holes that we still need to fill. So let's revisit that uh, in a few months. And then he also said he was very uh, attracted to the culture here in Minnesota. Well, not here in Minnesota. I'm in Ohio. You are probably in Minnesota. But he was very attracted to the culture of the Vikings. And that those were some of the big reasons uh, why he chose to sign with the Vikings uh, this offseason. Uh, two big news points that I wanted to uh, sort of pull out of this that I think were the most important things to take away from this press conference. Number one is that he affirmed that he is going to play corner, which I think we all were, I think we were all on board with. You know, there was some speculation after he went on Brandon Marshall's podcast that he could potentially switch to safety or he would uh, entertain the idea of switching to safety. But I'm pretty sure that we all thought immediately once he signed with um, with Minnesota that he was going to play corner because they want to move Jeff Gladney in, inside to play nickel. And we'll have Dantzler, we'll have Peterson on the outside. And then the Vikings are just going to have to figure out something else at the other safety spot opposite of Harrison Smith. So, But that is a confirmation that uh, the plan is for Patrick Peterson to be a starting corner and likely on the outside. The second big uh, piece of uh, you know newsy information that I pulled out of this was not something that was said directly, but just sort of taking in uh, the story of how this came to be. So um, backtrack way to the beginning of how Patrick Peterson came to be a Minnesota Viking and signed as a free agent here is that um, his agent actually reached out to the team. Uh, Rick Spielman the other day was at the Georgia Pro Day, which we discussed in Weekly North News on Friday. Um, and during his trip back from the Georgia Pro Day back to Minnesota, he was contacted by Patrick Peterson's agent. And uh, he, he sort of uh, popped the question, hey, are you guys interested in my client at all? And the Vikings, I guess, were a little caught off guard because they assumed that um, uh, they wouldn't be able to, you know, get within his price range. And uh, it had been a few days and, you know, there, I guess the offers weren't uh, very prominent for Peterson. So you know, a, a good agent doing what that they likely should do is reaching out, putting out some feelers and seeing what the market has to offer. And uh, I guess they were very intrigued right away that they would have the opportunity to get Patrick Peterson and a deal was quickly done with like in two hours. So uh, that part of the story interested me because, you know, the Vikings are sort of out here saying, you know, Patrick Peterson, we didn't think we'd be able to get him. We didn't think we'd be able uh, to meet the price. And that's interesting to me because when free agency first started, 
you know, we're, we're talking about uh, the Vikings being connected to big prize free agents like Joe Thune, Carl Lawson, Shaq Griffin. And if you're if you're in the realm of believing that you are in the price range of those guys, but not Patrick Peterson for some reason, that's that just strikes me as a little bit odd. Maybe that's just the nice way of saying, you know, you know, of course, you know, revisit the whole um, the preface that uh, general managers, head coaches, all these guys just lie. You know, everything that they say in front of a camera, ninety nine percent of the time, isn't the truth. Um, sometimes, you know, they, they, there's the little details and the, and the little stories that, uh, they pass off as, uh, as, as true. But I think most of the time when it comes to contract negotiations, bringing in new players, making them feel welcome, uh, they're going to fib a little bit. So I believe that they probably knew, uh, what the market for Patrick Pearson was because they did their, they did do their due diligence. That's a tongue twister, uh, prior to free agency beginning and they had a report on him. So they knew what he would, you know, probably bring to the market. The corner market itself was a little odd this year. It, it was kind of low, but I, I think that you're lying to us and for the right reasons, because you want to keep Patrick Peterson happy. But I think you're lying to us uh, when you say that you didn't believe you would be able to get him because you'd be out of his price range. When on the initial days of free agency, you are connected to guys like Joe Thune, Carl Lawson and Shaq Griffin, who got big contracts that you were never going to be able to afford to give them. So don't, you know, <laughs> don't insult our intelligence with this, uh, with this, uh, you know, uh, front office lingo that you don't believe you can uh, get in the price range of Patrick Peterson, who signed uh, for, uh, you know, a one year, $8 million deal with incentives. Uh, when you were on the phone at the beginning of free agency, talking to guys like Shaq Griffin, who, uh, you know, we all knew it was a corner was a position of need, but uh, th th I just found that a little interesting. So I hope that's just lies and not an inability to correctly evaluate talent at a free agent standpoint. So, but I don't think that that's the case. I think that they're just out there lying to us. So I found that very interesting uh, that they didn't think that they would be able to afford him originally. So that's why they kind of didn't make first contact and his agent had to make first contact with Rick Spielman. So that is the story of how Patrick Peterson came to be a Minnesota Viking this past week happened very quickly. And uh, we now have a new starting outside corner opposite of Cam Dantzler. In my opinion, that'll move Jeff Gladney inside uh, to play the nickel slash slot. So uh, the secondary is just now missing a safety. So hopefully we can come up with that next. That's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching and have a good day.